hello. I always want to say good morning, but it's not necessarily morning for you, is it? So, hello, good day. <laughs> all right, so we want to find all trig values when cosine theta is negative root 2 over 2, and given that sine theta is greater than 0. Holy cow, does this look scary, but it's not. So let's just take it piece by piece. Okay, so we want to find all six trig values, is what they're asking, all trig values, which means... That guy just means we're going to find sine, cosine, tan, cosecant, secant, cotangent. Okay, just a fancy way of saying find all of them. We already found one, so that's exciting. Okay, but we got to figure out where in the world is this guy in our grid. So let's go ahead and draw our Cartesian, XY Cartesian. Okay, we know it's got to be one of our lovely bow ties. So let's go ahead and draw that. Okay, we know, let's see, cosine is a negative. So let's think about this. All students take calc. Okay, all students take calc. That means that all trig ratios are positive in this quadrant. Only sine and the reciprocal, so sine and cosecant, are positive in this quadrant. Tangent and cotangent are positive in this quadrant. Cosine and secant are positive in this quadrant, okay? So that will help us when we come down to this guy. But cosine is negative. So if cosine's negative, it can't be positive, right? So it can't be in this guy. Because we said all trigs are positive here. Well, if it's negative, it ain't positive, so let's cross it out. This one says that cosines and secants are positives, right? Okay, well, positive says negative, so it can't be here. So we just narrowed it down to two. We're now in quadrant two or quadrant three. We don't know which one yet, which is why they gave us a little bit more information too. It says sine theta is greater than zero. Well, greater than zero means it has to be positive. So it can't be positive here because only tan and cotan are positive here. So we're living in quadrant two is all that means, okay? So now let's just think about we're in quad two, we don't care about this, we don't care about this, we don't care about this. We're down to one triangle. Remember, theta is always off of the origin, so that's our little theta. Let's go ahead and label it A H's and O's. So we got cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so hypotenuse is two. Our adjacent is negative root two. Could be a negative two, but hypotenuses can never be negative, so it always has to be this guy. And if you think about x, y grid, right, this is where negative x's are. So that makes sense, okay? How can we figure out what our adjacent is? Because we need to find all six trig values. So we have to figure out what, I think I just said adjacent, but I meant uh, opposite. We gotta figure out what our opposite is. So we gotta figure out what this guy is, our O. How can we do that? It's a right triangle. We know two of three sides, so we can do Pythagorean theorem. So we're gonna go, um, let's do negative root two squared plus, I don't know, squared equals hypotenuse squared. That does not look like a negative, sorry. They're so close. So negative squared is positive. Square root two times square root two is two, so we get just two here. Two squared is four, so I'm gonna subtract, subtract. X squared equals two. Square root, square root x equals, technically we put the square root in there, so the answer could be plus or minus square root, but which one makes a sense for this triangle? Positive O's, because it's going up, so it's gonna be really the positive square root of two, okay? All right, so now that we have all of our sides, I'm gonna just redraw this so you guys can see it a little bit better. We have theta. We have square root of two we just found. We have the hypotenuse of two, which was given to us, and we have negative root two, which is given to us. And then let's go ahead and label from the, uh, op uh, oh my gosh, from the theta, adjacent side, opposite side, hypotenuse side, okay? And then we wanna find all of our trig values. So sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, you guys have to have this theta with it. If you didn't, it's just sin, cos, and tan. It has, it's not mathematical. It has to have an angle with it, okay? 
And then let's do the opposite one. So we got cosecant, secant, cotangent. Okay, so sine wasn't given to us, but we can find it. O, H. So we get a positive root 2 over 2. Uh, cosine was already given to us in the problem. So you can look at your triangle that we just did or just take the easy way out and give it what he gave it, okay? Or what the problem gave us, gave us already. Tangent is OA, root 2 minus over negative root 2. So I can come over here and just simplify that. Root 2 over negative root 2. The same thing over the same thing cancels out. There's a negative, so it's just going to be negative 1. Okay, so now let's reciprocate these. So when we reciprocate root 2 over 2, we're going to get, let's go here, 2 over square root of 2. Can't have a radical in the denominator, so let's rationalize that. Multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. 2 square root of 2. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay, these big 2s cancel out. You can't touch that square root. It's inside the square root. You can't do it. But the big ones cancel. Really important side note, guys, back oh, a long time ago. If we did this, if this has a plus or minus in it, you cannot cancel that out. You can only cancel it out if it's multiplication. If it's one term, a monomial, this is a binomial. The only way you can cancel that two out is if there was another two in front of that radical, okay? Super, super, super important. They're gonna try to trick you with that all over your standardized tests, um, ACT, SAT for college, okay? So make sure we're very careful with that. All right, back to this problem. Rationalize the denominator, radical, radical, we're good. Cross out the twos because there's no addition or subtraction there, so that's fine. We never touch the inside of our radical when we're crossing out a two or canceling out a two. So we just get square root of two. All right, well, we can do that again, or we can say this and this is the exact same, but one's a negative. So guess what this answer is going to be? Negative root two. And then the reciprocal of negative one is negative one. Do not change the signs when you take reciprocals. All it means is you're changing the numerator for denominator. So we don't change the signs. And that is our answer for that guy.